Good seeing you. This is my wife, Marcia. Hello. 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 States of America awards the Presidential Citizens Medal to Frank C. Carlucci. Frank C. Carlucci, a selfless, energetic statesman and patriot, has made enduring contributions to America's security and well-being. As a Foreign Service Officer and Ambassador, he has represented our nation and shaped our foreign policy on two continents. Here at home, he has served our people as Director of the Office of Economic Opportunity, Deputy Director of the Office of Management and Budget, and Under Secretary of Health, Education, and Welfare. His outstanding contributions to national security as Deputy Director of Central Intelligence and Deputy Secretary of Defense have increased our confidence and pride in our ability to live in peace with freedom. Mr. Carlucci's devotion to country, dedicated service, and versatile record of achievements bring honor to himself and to the United States of America. Thank you very much. It's a pretty thorough. <laughs> well, sir. There is the man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I congratulate you on the job you're doing. It's been an honor to serve with both you and Cap. I think you're on the next course. I hope you continue. Well, Cap, you better come on over here since uh, you were the white enough angle lens for all of Oh, yeah, we got her. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, Thank you very much. Mr. Mr. President, knowing how you like cartoons, I must give you one. Oh, this for the little lady right there. Charles, <laughs> <laughs> but the important mm. thing is it's filled with jelly beans. <laughs> 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 President, when you think of the demonstrator, you enjoy that cartoon. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. I shall show this around here in the office as I take a few minutes. Thank you very much, Mr. President. It's been a pleasure to work with you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Good luck to you. Thank you. How are you? Thank you. 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 Those who gave them to four enlisted men. Gave our, they were seen holding hands as the ship went down. Hello, Mr. President. Hi, Inspector Howard. Hi, Senator. I see you. Senator. Mr. Norman. Mr. Paul. President Norman Slaughter. Well, please join President, President Rabbi Landis. Rabbi Landis. Nice, nice to meet you, Mr. President. Nice to see you. Dr. Freewald. Sir, nice to see you. It's a pleasure to be here. Chaplain White. <laughs> And Admiral Trower, I do his job. Well, Mr. President, we appreciate this graciousness on your part of receiving us, and we count it a pleasure and a privilege to be able to come and present to you a gold medal of the Chapel for Chaplain. I don't know whether you're familiar with the. Yes, I am. I was just telling it to the younger gentleman yes. here. Forty years. Forty we're celebrating years. forty years uh, of our uh, family when Dr. Daniel A. Poli. The father of one of the uh, chaplains. Uh, 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 there were uh, four chaplains, uh, two yes. Protestants, one Catholic, and one Jew. A Catholic priest and a uh, Jewish rabbi. And a Methodist, and uh, I can't remember the other one was. And a Dutch Reformed. Dutch Reformed. Dutch Excellent. Dutch Reformed. Right. President? You're, you're up on this. <laughs> and we uh, uh, 
We formed at that time under the leadership of Dr. Poling, uh, the founding of the Chapel of Four Chaplains, which is now 40 years old. And you know, hold that just a moment, please. And uh, I would like to uh, have the privilege of presenting to you with the uh, assistance of uh, Rabbi, uh, the Rabbi, placing this over you. Over your head, you call me as the president. <laughs> this is our gold medal, which is the highest award that we present to anyone. And, uh, we are delighted that Mrs. Reagan is a part of our chapel, and that she's in the, the group of ladies of the past of pre past presidents of the United States. Well, Mr. President, I'd like to add uh, just a word from Jewish tradition, and that is uh, that there's a special blessing recited when we see the president of the United States, and it is. Blessed be he who shares of his glory with a human being. Mm -hmm. And I want you to know that we at the Chapel of Four Chaplains feel that you are carrying on God's work through leading our great nation as you do with strength, with courage, with wisdom, and that we are very much supportive of you in all of your efforts. We believe with you that there can be peace through strength and justice and that America must lead the way. I thank you very much and thank you all. I'm greatly honored. I do know the story of this and I, it's a very humbling experience May to receive I, this, this honor. May I take this opportunity of congratulating you on your presentation last night? I thought it came across in great style. Well, thank you very much. I was enthusiastically this, supporting it. This has been recently published as a story of the book challenge. I would be very proud to have it. Thank you very much. I want you to also know that I wear the uh, Reagan Bush. <laughs> 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 well, thank you. <laughs> Mr. President, uh, Reverend Poling was the Republican nominee for mayor in Philadelphia in 1951. So there's even I, I had forgotten that. Yes. Tell me, there's one thing that has. Was there ever any effort made, or does anyone ever know who the, the four men were? Oh, you see the light that was. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I, I didn't let you finish your thing. No, or is does anyone, anyone know who the four never men been who received the light jackets? No, there were several men who claimed, and the War Department investigated, uh, but they were proven to be false. And then Dr. Pauling said, well, now, Walter, if uh, you took a life jacket from a man and left him to die, you wouldn't want that known. <laughs> so I said, let's not try to find him. Never get the oh, uh, I never <laughs> thought of that. <it. laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I'm deeply grateful. Well, we're grateful to you that you are our president. Thank you. Thank you very much. President, God bless you. And we have you in our prayers at all times. I have to tell you, in particular faith, I just saw something yesterday in New York City, uh, an evidence of courage. Uh, they have something, a group called the Crime Stoppers, and I was there, president of the 30th Precinct, where they were being honored, and in connection with the Daily News, the paper was in connection with this. These are citizens who are trying to do their best to help with the crime problem. Yes. And these were all people, a cross-section of Americans like you've never seen who have performed an heroic deed in saving someone from a criminal. And among them was a rabbi. And the criminal that he took on was armed with a machete. And I have to say that anyone that walks into someone with a machete <laughs> oh, wow. is doing above and beyond what I'm doing. It's a very inspiring thing to see. Well, thank you for the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And when in Philadelphia, we'd love to have you visit the chapel. I'd love to. Thank you. Bye.
Check, unemployment check, then make it to the university to see what's holding up the federal education grant, then pick up the food stamps, you make it to the free clinic for your checkup, and pick up my new glasses at the health center, then go to the welfare department and try to get an increase. I'll meet you later at the federal building for the demonstration against the stinking staff. <laughs> <laughs> excited his voice went higher <laughs> and he said you're leaving with fourteen dollars of my money and you're not giving me a chance and well the upshot of it was that three hours later Groucho was into it for four thousand dollars <laughs> and now he said I've got it and now Sam is really screaming and Groucho said wait a minute I told you I only wanted to play 30 minutes now he said forget the four thousand dollars just give me the fourteen dollars I was ahead at the end of the <laughs> And Sam's voice came right back down. He says, that's fair enough. I'll play you one hand, double or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> there's the one in there. <laughs> there's, 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 there's another one in there when uh, they wanted to clean out the, the studio files at one time. And so his assistant came in and said, Mr. Gold, uh, we have to get rid of all of those boxes in the back lot. And Sam said, OK, just make a copy of everything. <laughs> <laughs> But, oh, they're oh, they're, just, they're not one. I yeah. thought you liked that. It's really light reading. Oh, I look forward to this. Oh, you really? And all of those things that everyone thought couldn't be true. Mm -hmm. Or true. Eddie Cantor, when he brought him out from Broadway, put him in a few of those musicals. And finally, Eddie said to him one day, he said, you know, Sam, this is wonderful, and I love this and all. But he said, there's, you know, sing, dance, jokes. He said, pretty soon the audience is going to get tired of seeing me do the same thing. He said, I need a change of pace. 
Sam said, Eddie, don't worry about it. If they get tired of seeing you, I'll get someone else. <laughs> I want to take the opportunity, uh, this time in the term, I said, I do everything I can to make sure folks understand what you're doing, both in foreign policy and domestically. And I would hope that some of the congressmen and the senators who are opposing what we're trying to do in Central America would understand that this is not a Jane Fonda movie. And I told a friend of mine the other day, I said, we should line up some of them. I won't mention their names, and give them a, what we call, a, Mr. Watt got the foot, we should give them what's called a Jane Fonda Patriot of the Year Award, because it was a great article in the uh, Wall Street Journal this morning by Morton Kondracki, who's editor of the uh, National Review, and he's very liberal, and he came out full square supporting what you're trying to do, and went back over the history of when President Ford was trying to get aid on Vietnam, Vietnam and they knocked it down, and then he went down the dominoes at a fall, and I don't think a lot of the people understand that at all. Yeah. No, the uh, contract article is really good. They laugh about the domino theory, yeah. it worked. And they never asked dominoes. There they are, way That's over right. the order of Thailand. Exactly. Yeah. Well, listen, you got me started on Sam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I meant to say, I know you've been doing some traveling and have some more planned, and uh, no, I appreciate everything that you, you have done, and I know what you're doing out there. And, uh, well, a lot of people don't see the forest for the trees a lot of times. Yeah. And then our great, uh, no offense, gentlemen, the great media, uh, just <laughs> doesn't. There are people there. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they just, I get very, as I was telling Faith on the communications line, and I get very concerned about how the networks and, and the papers are taking our, our First Amendment and really just kind of abusing it in terms of the Westmoreland case, and it's very dangerous to me. Yes. But I don't want to take up any more of your time. Oh, it's, it's good to see you. Okay. I hope you like that. Oh, I will. Okay? Will be. My pleasure. And I'll be talking to John. Mr. President, I don't know if you've met John Tiller, new addition to my staff. Oh, yeah. We can take a little picture of him. Oh. Would that be possible? Quickly, just to because I don't think John is the other one. Thank you. John Thank is you. a great supporter of, of your campaign in 1980 in Pennsylvania. and spent the state department in Assembly. Good to know. I appreciate that. Now, that picture you see is going to be confirmed what a lot of people said, though, about me and what they think about me. I've never been able to understand every time I saw him when I was in show business for the first time, and I've never seen him before.